EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchich here with your outlook for September 6, 2019. Hurricane Dorian will be passing off to our south and east today, exiting the eastern portion of North Carolina and is going to rapidly head to the northeast from there. There will be some fringe impacts of, of this that will be felt across uh, mainly southern New Jersey, Delaware. Might have a few showers a little bit further northwest of that. But we will be cloudy today because of this. Uh, hurricane be in close pro proximity, but I think the effects here locally are slightly less than we thought yesterday, uh, though we didn't really expect a whole lot, but uh, we do expect that to be on the lower end of those uh, wind gusts and rain amounts as this moves off the north and east. Uh, we expect it to be somewhere near, near Moorhead City or heading towards the Outer Banks of North Carolina this morning as we get over to the radar, and this is actually taken from uh, the EPAWA app. So you can see what that looks like. This is uh, showing this hurricane still organized, still has a uh, symmetrical center, but the most of the activity is on the northwest side of this system. And uh, because of that, uh, actually we, we, ex we did expect that it would be on the northwest side of the system being a little bit stronger. Uh, but the hurricane uh, has come down in intensity uh, throughout the day today. It was a Category 3 major hurricane this morning. It is now down to 100 miles per hour. And that is going to uh, continue to weaken as it heads off the north and east. Should be about 90 when it reaches the coast or thereabout. So, but still some very strong winds and uh, surge down here in, in uh, North Carolina with that. We'll come very close to Moorhead City. I think it heads just south of there. Uh, and then it heads off to the Outer Banks and then out to sea. So uh, taking a look at the NAM High Res Future Simulated Radar. And this is looking at the uh, overnight stuff here. Uh, you can see Moorhead City is right here. So the eye is going to pass just to the south of that. It looks like radar is agreeing with that, that it should do so. But then it will pass over uh, these islands that make up the Outer Banks of North Carolina as it heads off to the north and east. And that will be this morning. So it should be uh, already, by the time we, uh, you're watching this video this morning, it should be already uh, east of Moorhead City and over the Outer Banks at that point and making its exit to the north and east. As far as local impacts to our area, uh, we have this is starting off also at 8 a.m. You have a few showers here on the uh, far south, uh, northwestern side of the system that are going to be rotating through to the northwest, but it's not nearly, not nearly as bad as it looked, uh, you know, 24, 36 hours ago for these areas down to our south and east. Uh, the interior could have a few showers as well. We'll be cloudy all day. Just a few showers are rotating through. This is looking the afternoon, by the way. Uh, so this is. Uh, Right here, this is 1 p.m., and it'll move ahead. This is 4, 5, 6. A few showers just rotating through on the far northwest side that will die out uh, during the evening hours. So isolated showers for the interior are possible. Uh, still some wind gusts here, but these are uh, the wind gusts this morning, generally in the 20 to 30 mile per hour range. These are top gusts, of course, and a little bit more than that, close to the shore points that will peak. We think as we get into the early to mid-afternoon hours, you get some readings here that are 38, 40 miles per hour. So that's generally what we're looking at for the shore points, not looking at wind gusts that are going to be much higher than that. So uh, it will improve as we head toward the evening and this system starts to pull away. Uh, this is looking at mid-evening right now. And then after that point, this moves away. And so do the clouds behind this. The clouds are going to decrease as we get into the late part of the overnight. And we're going to have another fantastic weekend once this pulls away. So this system does, in fact, pull away. Uh, here's Friday evening on the global models. And uh, then it moves off to the northeast. Might get the Cape here pretty good here on the way out. Uh, but then it heads up towards Nova Scotia. But this is Saturday morning at this point, And we have uh, mostly sunny skies expected here for Saturday with very pleasant conditions this weekend. We're going to have a northwesterly wind flow both Saturday and Sunday. Uh, temperatures generally in the mid-70s, mid-upper 70s for highs. And mostly sunny both days. So it's just going to be a fantastic weekend once again. Uh, we've been very blessed, uh, as I said in previous videos here, with these weekend uh, you know, forecasts. It's been very good. Most of the rains that we had, uh, even in the early part of the summer when it was a little bit uh, wetter, they were still coming during the middle of the week. So uh, we've been very fortunate this year with the weekends, and it's been the polar opposite of what we saw last year, which last summer we couldn't uh, buy a dry weekend. This weekend's the exact opposite. So uh, as we get into early next week, we are... Uh, going to remain partly to well, partly to mostly cloudy here on Monday. Uh, verdict's still out on that. There could be an easterly wind flow bringing those uh, a little bit more clouds and sun. We'll have to wait and see how that plays out. But it doesn't look like, look, look like any precipitation here on Monday. Uh, Tuesday, there could be, with a disturbance off to our south, there could be a stray shower rotating through. Most of the day is dry. And then Wednesday, uh, we have some prefrontal activity that could make it, make its way in here, giving us 
a few showers, especially interior locations here on Wednesday, maybe a isolated thunderstorm and then a better chance here on Thursday when the actual cold front moves through from the north is going to push off to the south so we could have some uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms as this moves through on Thursday the frontal boundary will be right about here by the time we get to later on Thursday but temperatures will be uh, generally on the lower side this week and we'll have one day we're going to peak here it looks like on, on Wednesday uh, ahead of this frontal boundary they're going to get temperatures in the uh, 80 near 80 degrees or maybe lower 80s uh, for high, low to mid 80s down here by Philadelphia for highs here on Wednesday. Once this front moves through on Thursday, we're back in the 70s again. So a quick jump up here on Wednesday, then we go back down on Thursday. But other than that, we're uh, looking pretty good, uh, especially for this weekend. We have a fantastic weekend coming up, but uh, we're also looking uh, pretty good here with uh, Hurricane Dorian. Uh, for the most part, uh, missing our area in, uh, except for the far southeastern area, so get a few showers out of that. I don't think it's going to be a big deal with that. Might be a little bit of surge, maybe a foot or two in some of the back bays here along the coast. But uh, other than that, I think we uh, we dodged a bullet with, with uh, Dorian, and we'll be happy finally to see this hurricane leave and, and be out of, the, uh, out of our region by the time we get to later today and this evening. I'm EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Martich. That is your outlook for September 6th, 2019. Have a great Friday.